In this video, we're gonna create a really cinematic, shiny logo reveal right here for After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing excellent today. Before we get started, I should mention that we have just released a 100 logo template extension right here for After Effects. So you can have access to 100 logo animations, drag and drop your logo in and be done with your logo animation within just a few minutes. So if you wanna check out that pack, I will link that below. We'll talk more about that in the video, but without wasting more time, let's jump into our tutorial. Let's create this shiny logo. All right, if you wanna follow along with our tutorial, you can download our project files for absolutely free. We have some free awesome assets we're giving away in this one, so be sure to download our files. So the first thing you need to do to get started is you need to bring in your logo, okay? The first thing I wanna do here is animate our logo off the start. So I'm just gonna bring in my logo, hit Astron keyboard for scale and add a keyframe for it. Move forward to the end of our animation and we can just kind of scale this down. All right, and when you have your scale done, what we can do is take our logo layer and we'll go to layer pre-compose and you can call it logo placeholder. Move all attributes to new composition, click OK. All right, so there's two things we're gonna do here. We're gonna texturize our logo and we're gonna create some awesome lighting effects. Really easy to do this. So we have a texture that you can download that I'm gonna bring into this composition. It looks just like this, but anytime you get a texture, what I suggest doing is scale it down you know, to be really small. And as you see, the texture is smaller than our logo and that's totally fine. But what I wanna do here is toggle switch to the modes until we see the track mat and set the track mat for the texture layer to alpha mat. Now that's gonna take the form of the logo. But what we need to do here is come to effect, stylize and grab CC repeat tile. And we're gonna come here to expand left and we're gonna go ahead and set this up to 2500 and the expand right to 2500. And we'll come here to tiling and set this to checker flip H. And by scaling down your texture, you're gonna get more detail. So what we can do is take our CC repeat tile effect, duplicate it, and we'll simply come here and click on reset. And we'll come here to expand down, set that to 2500 and the up 2500 as well. Come here to tiling and set that to checker flip V. And perfect. And now you're gonna have a great textured logo. But this is very plain, we need to add some lighting effects. So what we're gonna do is I have another JPEG in here of these lights, you know, this little reflection that we have created. We'll bring this into our composition. And what I'm gonna do is hit S on my keyboard for scale and I'm gonna break the chain here. And I'm gonna go ahead and increase the scale up to 370. So we get this here. Then I'm gonna go to effect, stylize and grab motion tile. And I'm gonna come here to output width and set that up to 500. And come to the beginning of our timeline, add a keyframe for tile center and move to the end. And I'm just gonna come here to the X value and just move this over. So now you'll have this animation like this and make sure you check on mirror edges. All right, let's take this reflection layer and let's pre-compose it. You just call it map, okay? And first thing we're gonna do is go to effect, channel, and we're gonna grab set mat. We're gonna take the map from the logo placeholder here, which is the second layer. And now you get this very hard reflection in here. And then what we're gonna do is go to effect, stylize, and we're gonna grab CC glass. Make sure the CC glass effect is above the set mat effect. And let's open up surface, come here to the bump map layer, set that of course to the logo placeholder beautiful and we come here to softness maybe set this to 12 uh, we can come here to height set it up to 50 and I'm gonna set the displacement to negative 500 and very important what we do here is come here to the blend mode and we set this to hard light okay so you get that texture back in there and then what we can do is duplicate this layer and set the blend mode to screen all right now we'll kind of lighten it up by a little bit and we'll grab both these layers we'll hit T on keyboard for opacity maybe set the opacity to 65 percent so we can you know, really start to see the detail of our logo and, you know, so it's not completely dark. So you're going to get a very nice shiny logo here um, as we move forward here, but we're not quite done yet. Let's grab our texture layer and let's just help pop this out a little bit more. So we'll go to layer, layer styles, and we'll grab bevel and emboss. We'll open up that menu down here. We'll come here to size, set this to 250. Come here to soften. We'll set that, set that up to 16. And we'll alt click the stopwatch for angle and we'll type in time asterisk 25 and then we'll go to effect color correction and we'll grab curves and we'll just create like a quick s curve here to help increase the contrast by a touch all right cool so you're gonna have a little bit of a shiny logo here with a nice texture and let's take all these layers here and let's pre-compose it and you can call it logo bevel if you want then we'll go to effect perspective and grab bevel alpha beautiful now you have that nice little rim around the edges there and that looks just perfect. And one thing we need to do to help these sharp lines is go back into the map layers, go to reflection and go to effect, blur and sharpen and just add a quick Gaussian blur and set that up to like 50 or so and repeat edge pixels. And now we'll get this very smooth light source across our logo. 
And since we're halfway through the video, I wanna give that huge shout out to our 100 logo pack extension right here for After Effects. So this is our 100 logo pack extension right here for After Effects, where you can preview 100 logo animations and apply them to any project you're working on. So we have 14 categories of logo animations uh, that you can easily go through and preview each logo animation before you apply what you're looking for. So we have plenty of awesome stuff in here, electrical type logo reveals, some very cinematic logo templates as well but how this works is very simple you go ahead and you go to a category you find that you preview the logo that you want to use and you click on apply and it'll apply the full logo animation into your current after effects project you can then go into that composition and you go to the logo layer and you'll find the current logo there that you don't want to use so you go ahead and turn that off you import your own logo and then you go to the tagline composition you can turn it off or you can go ahead and put in a certain tagline like a website and finally you can go into the control layer and you can go to your control layer right there and you can bring down say the tagline Y position and you can also easily change colors of the composition. So once all said and done, your entire logo animation will update in your final composition and you'll be able to export it from there. So that's how our 100 logo pack extension works right here in After Effects. So if you wanna have access to all the logo templates you need for your current and future client and business projects, you can check out our 100 logo pack. I will drop that link below. If you do pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, so now we have the logo texturized and the lighting looks great. We now have to put together the scene because you know, it's gonna look great with a scene. So the first thing you wanna do is bring in some sort of background. So I have a background or download that I'm gonna bring into our composition. And one thing I suggest doing, make the background as dark as possible. So go to color correction curves and just kind of really darken that down. And you're welcome to play with the other channels as well. You know, to kind of create a unique color here. You know, of course this doesn't look so good, but once we start applying some other things to it, it's gonna look amazing. So in our download, I have some particles for you to use. This is of course from our Motion Graphics Professionals pack over here, um, but you can download this for free if you download a project file. So I'm gonna come here and bring in some particles. And one thing I suggest doing is go to blend mode and set that to add. And we'll come here and add another one in here as well. And we'll set that to add as well. Now I really want to make this look really cinematic, right? So what we'll do is go to the layer, new adjustment layer. And bring that adjustment layer right underneath for logo and go to effect, blur and sharpen and add uh, camera lens blur. And we'll come here to blur radius and set this to 32 and come here to shape and set that to octagon. And those particles are going to be turned into what's called bokeh. Um, and it looks really awesome. So I wanna go ahead and create another adjustment layer, make sure that that's the top. And I'm gonna come here to effect color correction and grab curves, always be looking for a way to create an S curve here that will help create more contrast and kind of darken down the scene while brightening up the intensity of everything. So that looks pretty good. And then of course go to effect noise and grain and add some noise to this. I'm gonna set this to 7% and uncheck use color noise. And it's gonna look even more grainy and vintagey in here. And of course the last thing we need to talk about is how to reveal the scene on. I'm always looking for ways to reveal on you know, this type of stuff using light assets. So also in our motion graphics professionals pack, we have some light leaks that I can use for this type of thing that I'm looking to do. So in the download, I have this light leak here and it's just, you know, a little bit of a flashing light here. We're gonna use this to reveal on our scene. So I'll bring this into our composition, put it underneath our adjustment layer there. And I'm gonna come here to the blend mode and set this to hard light. Okay, so you get some color here, which is really cool, but I'm gonna come here to effect color correction uh, tint and I'm gonna map white to black as well here so essentially you'll see nothing of the scene and then we can hit here on keyboard for opacity add a keyframe for this and move forward in time maybe by a second and a half or so and set it down to zero percent and in third quality this light leak will literally just reveal on our scene and that is awesome so that is our tutorial on creating this cinematic shiny logo I hope you found this tutorial helpful and are able to produce some really you know bright shiny beautiful logos Anyway, hope you did enjoy this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can hit me up on my social media networks like my Instagram. I will drop that link below and always be creating.